Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to make a motion outro for free. All you need is a video editor and a image manipulation app. So this includes Pixlr, GIMP, Photoshop, whatever the case is. I'm using Photoshop. I know it's paid, but I'm just used to it. You can use any other software and it's the same basically. Before I get started, I don't usually do these, but I just want to help a friend out. If you guys can check out my friend Sokotosh's media company and his YouTube channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, he's a really cool guy. Uh, just check everything. It's in the description. Uh, with that being said, let's just get into the video. So this is kind of what we're trying to get at, but without this black background here. So the first thing you want to do is press file new here. And then you want to type in the dimensions of an outro, which is 920 by 1080, obviously, or 1280 by 720. So here I have it. And you want to make sure the background contents are transparent. We're trying to make everything transparent except for the text, the box, and maybe social media icons. Everything else should be transparent because we want the background to be moving. So we could do a couple of things. We can add gameplay in the background. We could add maybe a video of yourself, maybe particles moving, uh, maybe like something in the background, stock footage of anything that's moving and it'll look really cool. It'll look 10 times better than any like still outro that you've seen. So the first thing I'm gonna do is type in Steven Van or whatever your channel name is. And before I do that, I just want to add a black layer in the background so you guys can see it. Before I save this image, I'll be deleting it, however, because we need it transparent. I'm just doing this so you guys can see it a little bit better. So now you want to uh, center it. So what you can do is press Control A, select the Move tool, and then press this fourth shortcut here. Or you can go to Layer, Align Layers to Selection, and then Horizontal Centers, whatever is easier for you. Once you're done that, you'll see that there's this uh, moving, like, horizontal lines and stuff what you want to do is press ctrl d and then i'll just select everything so i'll move this a little bit down so i can add something on top of it um so let me add maybe thanks for watching you'll be doing this a lot in this tutorial what you want to do is press ctrl t hold shift and drag holding shift will uh, allow you to keep the aspect ratio and pressing ctrl t will help you resize the image or the text or whatever. So let me press control and up arrow so it moves a little bit up. So obviously you can see that it's a little bit too small. So I'll just be pressing control T, hold shift and drag. So another thing you will need to know is if you press on this and then press control on another layer, it will select both of them. And also if you press on the last layer and press on the first layer, while you press shift, it will select all the ones in between as well. This will be helpful during the video because I'm gonna do a lot of that. So I'm just going to press control A and then center these. So there we have the text. Now we want the box. So the box is really easy as well. You want to make the fill nothing and the stroke whatever color you want. Obviously you can just do this because the video won't uh, fit perfectly in that. So what you want to do instead is press on the actual canvas and then type in 920 by 1080. And now we can resize it from there. So we can press control C, hold shift and resize from there so that it fits on our uh, outro. If you're on, let's just say Pixlr or something else, I'm not sure if they have the same options as that. So what you can do is go into an aspect ratio calculator and then just do trial and error and type in the second value as you keep uh, attempting it. That may be helpful for you if you don't have the same option to just resize it like that. So let me just increase it like that. And then the next thing we're gonna do is press previous video here. Or you can do next video or whatever you really want to. So there I have previous video. So now we only have space to really add uh, social media, like icons and stuff. So I'll do that, Twitter. Control T, hold shift and resize. This is very important. You will need to know how to do that. Control T to resize, hold shift to keep the aspect ratio while dragging. It really isn't hard once you start learning it, but you will have to um, make that a habit and just learn how to use it. So let me just type in Steven Van underscore. And once again, we're gonna do control T, hold shift and resize. And then once again, press control on both of these layers and then press control T, hold shift and resize. It's a little bit confusing. I know I'm going a little bit fast, but once you get a hang of it, it'll be easy. So next we're gonna have to add uh, social media icon so that's pretty easy I have my 50k graphics pack open it's free to download so if you want it it'll be in the description I'll just drag in Twitter here or that's twitch I think yeah that's twitch 
I'm striking Twitter here. You can also go for the colored one if you want that as well, but I'm not going to do that. Control T, hold shift and drag. And then you can do that to the other side. But before I do that, I want to group everything. So I can press control G and just move everything that I want into this group. So this would be Twitter. So if I hide it, you'll see that that's the Twitter only. And also to make it a little bit easier for myself, I could press control J to duplicate this layer and then add it on the other side so that I don't have to see what like size the images or the text is. Instead, I can just easily just edit the text. So here I just edit and just move it there. And then now we can add an Instagram here. So this is the final, if you want to see this, this is how it should look like. So we're going to go on Instagram and just drag it here. Control T, hold shift and drag once again. Now let's label this insta and now we can move it so it's aligned right there and now you're basically done but before i do that before i show you guys i want to align everything in the middle so just hold shift so press on this first layer hold shift and then press on the last layer and now we can make an entire big group and then we can align it press Control a and then align it like that and align it vertically as well and there we have a perfectly aligned outro and one thing before i show you guys how to use your video editor to add the video right here in the video in the background you want to go on to layer styles or you can choose to do this obviously but layer styles just adds a really cool look to it so you can add any of these layer styles to any image to any graphic to any text i'll be using the one in the background which is stripes copy layer style so right click here copy layer style and now you can paste it to every single thing here so you can see this one has the striped a background so let me just paste it to everything so press on the first layer and then press on the last layer and press paste layer style obviously it does not look like that I'll teach you guys how to modify it so the first thing you want to do is right click on any layer style go on to gradient deselect reverse because I don't like how it looks like so you can see the difference between reverse and, and uh, unreverse and then you want to increase the scale on pattern overlay and then decrease the the pattern so once you copy that you can paste it again onto all the other ones so there it's a little bit less visible and i like that a lot better and now you can change like anything you want so you can make this red you can make this yellow green and that's the good thing it, it isn't only white you can change the color really easily you don't have to go back into blending options however if you want to change a social media icon color um, that may take a little longer so what you can do instead is let's, let's just go on to Twitter uh, let's go on to Twitter here you want to clear the layer style first go on to blending options then go on to color overlay and make it whatever color you want so in this case I'm just gonna make it red and then rasterize it and now you can paste it again and then you can do the same thing with Instagram I, I won't do that it's like too long so I'll just just make it white instead so there it looks cool and now we want to remove the black image and then save it and then make it a PNG make sure it's a PNG I already have a motion outro here and it's a little bit uh, done better because I I kind of spent more time on it uh, so I'll just be using that so you want to go into your video editor now and you want to drag in your intro I mean your outro and you want to make it however long you want the actual outro to be so in this case I'll make it like 10 seconds so here make it 10 seconds so 10 seconds is about there so that's how long your outro is gonna be right now so if you just press play from there it won't be much but just that's how it's gonna look like so the first thing you want to do is actually add the video in here so a lot of video editors, basically all of them, allow you to put another video on another video and resize it. Uh, this includes Camtasia, uh, Sony Vegas, Premiere Pro, Final Cut, Filmora. There's a bunch of them out there. So if you need to find any, I actually have a video on the top video editors that are free. Even HitFilm does too. So usually what I do is go onto youtube.com slash my videos and then I download my recent video. It's really simple. So let's just load it up here. You go to edit and then download mp4 and then it'll be able to download right there 
and now insert it onto your video editor from the beginning cut it from the end or split it from the end and then delete it also delete the audio because you're gonna want to add a song in the background this isn't a good fit so what you can do is just resize it resizing is different for every video editing software so it may vary so we can like lower the scale and just find the right fit for this so that's okay right there if you press play from here you can just leave it as this actually if you if you like how this looks like you can just leave it as that but this is a motion background so what you can do is search up like free to use gameplay gameplay or you can search up or in my case I searched up red motion background or particles or you can search up stock footage of maybe like a time lapse or or the city or whatever really looks cool for you so if you go into my downloads here I actually have downloads right here I have free to use gameplay I have free motion background this is golden which wouldn't work for me and then this is red spitting particles so I'll show this one first so just drag it and split it at the end and once again you'll see that the background is not fully there yet so I'll just resize it once again make the scale like 200 there now you can see if you press play it looks pretty cool right you can also add gameplay I think this person looks better it looks more true to life so here I have some Rocket League gameplay obviously if you play Rocket League you would add it if you don't just choose whatever game you play so here we have it let's just resize it let's make it 200 okay it's not really moving because that's the main menu and let's just cut it from there and then we should be good so if we press play from here that looks really cool so hope you guys enjoyed the video if it did help you out hit the thumbs up button if you want the template uh, to this outro uh, to the actual image part not the entire video I can't really do that uh, just hit the thumbs up button let's try to hit 500 likes and then I'll give it away and yeah, uh, my name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.